chapter 5, picking it up at verse 9 as we continue in the atmosphere of his glory in the house. And they sang a new song. Everybody say new song. New song. Saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and, and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And it made us and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. That means plenty. And I hope you'll be there in that crowd. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth such as a that are in the sea and all that are in them heard I say it is very important in the midst of all of the worship and all of the sound of the musicians and the sound of the saints that God also hear your voice heard I say we get involved there is a place for each and every one of us to also join in the midst of 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. He is also interested in hearing your voice. Say blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sits on the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 29 the next day John seeing Jesus coming unto him and saying behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. In my brief statement with you in motivation I entitled this the insurance policy. It is said that if it is said that God took out an insurance policy before creating mankind. The Bible here recorded that man or that, that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Which means therefore that God knew for a fact that if man were to fall, he will actually have something in place to be able to cater for his restoration. It is a fully comprehensive insurance that pays for all the damages everybody say all the damages no matter what they are and even these promises was geared to even bring us back to a place where all things are new that insurance was the blood of the lamb the blood of jesus and the main strength of the insurance was to ensure that if there was an incident, of course, and we know that they are, that's why we are all here on earth still in our current state. It was designed so that if the incident or if, if, the, if there is a fall of man, that insurance will cover everything. Are you there with me? Jesus' death on the cross was not an the thought of God where he just rushed through to see what he could do because of the mess that happened in Eden. No! He planned before he put the construction, the construction in place. He had an insurance that is there. And that insurance gives us an assurance. Are you there with me? In the third chapter of Genesis, we have the record of the fall. And uh, we find also that in verse 21 of that chapter 3, we have evidence that the result of the fall responded in the nakedness of human beings. 
and the garments of skin was then required, which was the shedding of blood for by animals in order to cover our skin. So I want to just highlight four quick things. In chapter 3, the animal sacrifice, so their blood was shed for the covering of a person. Everybody say the covering of a person. In Exodus chapter 12, an animal was sacrificed, or animals were sacrificed, and blood was shed for the covering of families at the Passover. Everybody say covering of families. In Exodus chapter 30, we have animals that have been sacrificed under the Levitical priesthood for the covering of nation. Everybody say covering of nation. And in John chapter 1 and verse 29, when John saw Jesus, his blood was shed for the covering of the world. Are you there with me? The covering of the world. God had a long time revealed that the lamb was to be slain from the foundation of the world to work as a covering for each and every one of us. The knowledge of this alone, when received into our hearts, can cause us to walk into abundance of the richness of Christ and the debt made available to us. Put up for me First Thessalonians chapter 4. I'm going to ask the musicians. I'm going to ask all of the, uh, the, the shouters in the house. We have a reason to shout. Amen. And we're going to sound the sound of the trumpet and the sound of the shofar in the house here. In First Thessalonians, we are told very clearly from verse 16. Eh? Taking it up at verse 16. For the Lord himself. Everybody say the Lord himself. Shall descend from heaven with a shout. Let me have a shout in the house this evening. And then the Lord is born up with a shout. With a voice of the archangel. With a shout of God. And the dead Christ shall rise first. In verse 17 he declared. That we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. With them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And I think verse 18 is very important. It declares because of the generation that we are in. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Let us shout unto the Lord one more time. With the voice of the archangel. With the trump of God. Hallelujah. 